the sweepstakes winner. I've been looking forward to... No! No! Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time! I sense movement! I need a new battery! Can you hear me? A new battery! Oh, oh, I sense we're near the lighthouse. Ask that old fool how the road to the south is. <laughs> What's that? Who's there? Who are you? What's the password? I can't let you in without the password. And don't try swordfish, I know it's not that. I tried it myself, I couldn't get in. So I know it's not that. Well, we haven't had any visitors here since, oh, I don't know how long. You must be another one of Rupert's sweepstakes winners, huh? Okay, what's the password? Did you say the password? I can't remember. I can't let you in without the password, so you must have already said it, huh? So good thing you knew the password. It's not safe out there. Those buzzers will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I'd say magnetic. The other day one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. What, are you just gonna stand there like a marble on a flathead? Hey. Hey, pal. I'm talking to you. You okay? Come back anytime. Let me know if you find any extra aluminum. I could use it. That old boar. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Did you hear the one about the apple? <laughs>
know about the appetite of the wild boar <laughs> in the forest of the spirit. Well, you are late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or be marked down on your permanent record. Tardiness. Good work habits. I like that. First, we're going to have a little pop quiz. I'm so happy to have someone to ask this of. Would you be so kind as to take this book and record what happened to East Shanbar and what caused it? I can't go myself. I have to be here if any of my students come back. Well, a new constituent! I'm the mayor of Shambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. Some raw? Of course you do.
Want some rye? Of course you do. And that's the only way to get out of their life. I hope you remember that when the time comes. scared me. Stay back. What do you want? Yeah, but what's it to you? I told myself if anyone was ever nice to me, I'd give them this. My father gave that to me before I escaped. He said it was good luck. I want you to have it. That guy drinks so much, even his plants are potted. <laughs> Want some rye? Of course you do. Here's to us. Want some rye? Of course you do. Who's like us? Want some rye? Of course you do. Damn you! Want some rye? Of course you do. My, my keys? Oh, 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 sure, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm too dry to drunk. <laughs> oh, would you pick up a six pack while you're out? I'd be much obliged. <laughs> Thank you.
And they're all dead. Huh? Hold it right there. I got a few questions to ask you. I'm warning you. See if you can figure this out. Okay. You're all right. So next time, try to use the door, and you don't need to steal anything. I know you're on our side, so I'll let you take whatever you need.
Yikes! I remember a great explosion. You know, it was back in 1247, and we had to destroy everything magic, whether it was mechanical or enchanted. Had to go. We even blew up the Frobaz Magic Company and all its inventory. Boy, was that a good one. <laughs> That's no poodle. That's a hellhound. <laughs> Away. I haven't got anything for you! I've only got one milk cow, and she only eats carrots! So just go away, please! Leave me alone! Go away! I haven't got anything for you! I've only got one milk cow, and she only eats carrots! So just go away! Ah, that's alright. Just take what you need and go away. And you can take that ludicrous box out there too. I didn't order it, and I didn't want it. The missus didn't order it, and she doesn't want it. And the cow don't need it either. So just go.
You looking for something? Just got boats here. Two Zorkmans. Hey, you know, that reminds me of this knot called the cow hitch. Hey, it's left over right. Under? I had a girl. She's a witch. She's quite a girl. I had a fight with her a while back. Uh, I don't even remember what about. I haven't spoken since. I, I wrote her a letter though. I got it here somewhere. Y you think maybe you could do me a favor and, and take it to her? Appreciate it.
appreciate it. Potion's not ready yet, but you could have a cup of tea. Frogs have to boil down just a bit. I use too much water. <laughs> a little shy, huh? You just sit there and sip your tea until you feel better. Take your boat. Why don't you take that stick so you can navigate the bogs? Thank you. You're such a dear! We thought we'd gotten rid of the bad magic. Cows got fatter, people slimmed down, food got better, life was good. But over the years, the evil magic began to seep down into the soil, and eventually it settled in the Illuminite. Magic and Illuminite seemed to attract. I remember a witch who had that effect on me. <laughs> Something I can do for ya? I look around, let me know. Name's Mudok. Modakam Mudok. This game, I pull up a chair, I'll teach it to you. It's called Survivor, in honor of Trimbile and Kunuk, the only two survivors of the Great Diffusion. Well, that happened over 400 years ago. 
You got 16 squares. I play the wizard, and you can play Knock. So the wizard has got to move one square straight and one square diagonal in each move. Now you can move diagonal first, and then straight after, it doesn't matter. At the moment, the wizard moves off a square, the caves in, forms a pit. Now, Knuck can jump to any unoccupied square and force you to move into a pit, and he's won. Now, the object is to have all the squares turn into pits, except the one you'll be sitting on. <laughs> that takes strategy. Give it a try. Uh-huh. Oh, you're not as bad as you smell. Hmm. I'd be needing to think about that. Watch this. <laughs> well, I guess you're getting the hang of it, eh? You know, nobody really takes the time to learn this game. You done good. I'd like to give you something that may help you on your way. It's a real fine sword. A little worse for the wire, but a smitty across the way can shine it up for you. Oh, and here is a talker. It might come in handy. Oh, hiya, sailor. You looking for something? Just got boats here. Two Zorkmids. Appreciate it. not ready yet, but you could have a cup of tea. Frogs have to boil down just a bit. I use too much water. <laughs> a little shy, huh? You just sit there and sip your tea until you feel better. Aww. Have you ever tried to milk a cow with cold hands? These little darlings are very useful, and so are their byproducts. in Zorkman script. Do you know why most Zork jokes are one line? So Flatheads can remember them! here. I only use fresh ingredients in my potion. Oh, 
Uh-oh, we're near Canuck's house. I've known Canuck a very long time, so I'll see you later. Thank you. I've been waiting a long time for that. I was getting tired of eating bugs and fish. But I found some really juicy grubs down by the rushes. Oh, I like books. Oh, oh, this part's written in Mythican, my old language. Here's a good one. How many Union Dwarfs does it take to dig up a piece of Illuminite? Fifteen. You got a problem with that? Ah! <laughs> you got a problem with that? You don't get it. <sighs> I know there's a piece of the disc in that bottle. I put it there myself. I can't get it, I'm too old. But, I can shrink you, so you can go inside and get it! Yes! Go ahead! The spell will only last 20 minutes! Twenty minutes! Twenty minutes! <laughs> Four. 
やぞうぞThe mayor's office. That old windbag could power a city street for a whole week with one speech. Would you mind standing a little farther back? Uh, how many computer programmers does it take to screw in a light bulb? That's a hardware problem. <laughs>
Yeah, you stink! Come back later. Mm. I know that language. <laughs> Do Zark mids. The boar in the forest. Oops. Uh, sorry. Uh, greasy fingers. Here. Uh, uh, one zork mid. Here. Uh, can't read it now.
God isn't easy to trick evil. Here's what we did. I can't believe we did this, but we did. Now the wizards met in room number two at the end of Is Enough to plan the great dispersal of all magic. Now our enemies had placed a spy in basement level number six, but we knew that. Whoop, gotta go. Excuse me, but I think you are just a little overripe. I mean, you really smell bad. Your room's right upstairs. You're in room one. <laughs> Let me dream a moment. I like to see what others see. Feel what others feel. I am more feel. You stink! <laughs> Do Zork meds!
<laughs> That's your sword? It's just so dirty when you brought it in here, you just don't recognize it. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll look around. <sighs> here it is. I made a mistake, okay? I said I was sorry. Not only do your jokes think, but so do you. Okay, so you think you're funny? Go ahead, make me laugh. <laughs> How many implementors does it take to screw in a light bulb? That's a hardware problem. <laughs> Oh, I like books. Oh, 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 here's a good one. It's written in Mythic in my old language. How many Union Dwarfs does it take to dig up a piece of aluminite? Fifteen! You got a problem with that? Ah! <laughs> you got a problem with that? Ah! Ah, what do you know about funny? Get out of here. <laughs> in Zorkmid script. Do you know why most Zork jokes are one line? So Flatheads can remember them! <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you hear the one about the boar in the forest? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Greasy fingers. <laughs> I never expected to have a winner. I'd like you to have this. I gave my son the other one for good luck. you are. I'm Rebecca Snoot. We weren't properly introduced. I know there's something evil happening, and I know its name is Morpheus. It keeps introducing itself in my dreams. I'm working on a book. It's called Zork, The Return of Evil. I'll let you know what I find out.
I know you're out there. You big ock! I may be blind, but I can hear you. I'm a fairy! Stand still and fight! <laughs> Why don't you use a fly swatter? You big ox! <laughs> so an ambush, huh? You'll never take me! Ugh, don't you ever run out of arrows? Go ahead, talk to me all you want. I'll have the last laugh. You're gonna beg me for mercy. You big ox! Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. meet again. It was brave of you to go near the hunter. I could have handled him myself though. I was only playing with him. But since it is a matter of honor among fairies to reward good deeds done on our behalf, I'd like you to have this. It's fairy dust. You'll figure it out. You are. You want to hear something? The vultures are good for just one thing and one thing only. Their talons. When you find one, grab it. They're like boomerangs. What's that? That's a glowing thing. Ah, thank you. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Those other proposals Rupert suckered in never came back.
Phoebo's cluster used to be here. Now Canuck started acting very strange after he came in contact with the thing. One night he snuck in here and swapped the cluster for a fake. Hello. You must have traveled far. Not too many people visit the temple anymore. Not since the reign of darkness began. There is only one magical device left that can shatter the wall of illusion that allows evil to thrive. You have the true sword. Let me bless it. It will serve you faithfully in your fight against evil. You remember that cluster? Phoebo's Folly, they used to call it. The one Canuck walked off with. <laughs> That Canuck. What a character. You know, it took us nearly a decade to figure out that he was cuckoo. You're kind of clumsy for this kind of work, aren't you? Can't be too choosy these days. Here, you'll need this. Wait! Your sword. You must be one of us. Gerald, we've got the bearer of the Dwarven Sword of Zork. Good. Need all the help we can get. How much aluminite do we have left? Right now we have enough. Now let me get this straight. Right now, we've got plenty of aluminite. Yes, sir. It's stockpiled to the left of the armory. Where? Right over there. Where? I don't see it. I got my glasses. Keep those lines straight! It's right over there. It's covered. Oh! On the left. The left. Right! Keep those lines straight!
I can sense that your sword is glowing blue. Invader! So, you made it this far. You may have killed my brother trolls, but you won't kill me! I don't know what powers you possess, but you're no match for me. You'll... never... get out of here alive! Wait! Wait! No! No! Spare me! I'll give you this necklace. It has magical powers. MAGICAL POWERS! Just don't hurt me.
I can't believe you've got that! Look, look! I've got a piece too! Here, you should take that across the river to the Holy Woman at Belnir Temple.
Illuminite attracts evil magic like a magnet. We're near something we missed during the Great Diffusion.
Welcome to my gallery. Perhaps you know some of my collection. This is my research laboratory. And these are my subjects. I have studied them all and have taken the best from each. From you, I will take strategy. We will play survivor. You may play the wizard Trimbile's role. I will play Canuck, your move. I think you are in trouble. <laughs> Do you give up? Very interesting. I think your time is up. I think your time is up. Very interesting.
Uh-oh. I missed that. <laughs> I have you cornered. I think you are in trouble. I think you are in trouble. I have you cornered. I think your time is up. Not very smart. Do you forfeit? I think you are in trouble now. I think you are in trouble now. I think you are in trouble now. You cheated. Blast! I never lose! I never lose! I...
master strategist. You have to teach me the final parts of Survivor. Ha, 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 ha.